Hi, it's Adrian, and I'm doing a new series where I'm doing a lookbook series. Lookbooks were basically catalogs, but they were before the internet and before, uh, you know, glossy magazines and that sort of thing. So uh, that's what I'm going ahead and doing. And this particular lookbook is going to be on all of the palettes that you can get over at Target or all of the ColourPop palettes that you can go ahead and get over at Target. So um, I'll go ahead and get started and we'll go from there. So as, ooh, that's messy. Okay. And the ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation on. This one's in 55 neutral. So uh, that's what I have on there. And then as far as what I went ahead and put on, um, let's see, as far as bronzer, I went ahead and used the ColourPop Isle Bet. And like I said, I'm trying to do everything ColourPop. So this is the bronzer that I have on today. And this is one of their putty bronzers. And then as far as what I did for the uh, cheeks, I went ahead and used Bardot. And this is a Super Shock uh, cheek formula. And this one actually comes out pretty red. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more in to the look here. So, uh, yeah, Bardo does add a whole bunch of red, and um, it's a really pretty super shock cheek color. And then I did go ahead and top that with the Just Cruisin'. Let me see if I can find that here. Um, yeah, Just Cruisin'. It's one of the new ColourPop uh, blushes also available. I think these are at uh, Target and um, Ulta. But let's go ahead and add a little bit more of that in. And it goes really well with Bardo. Uh, yep, so there's that. And then I did go ahead and put some Flexitarian as far as a highlighter on there. Go ahead and add a little bit more of that. So there's uh, the look as far as yeah, as far as the base products go. And uh, what I went ahead and used on the eyes is the ColourPop Super Bloom. Again, these are available over at Target. And what I did was I went ahead and used uh, this one in the crease, and then this one right on top of it. I used uh, this on the lid, and then this on the brow bone. And I'll go ahead and show you how the look came out. And I did use a ColourPop Gel Eyeliner as well. So that's how the look came out. And uh, yeah, the Super Bloom is a really pretty palette. And it is available over at Target. Um, the actual shades themselves, they are... Um, they're greens based on gray, and so they have a little bit of a different look than some of the other green palettes that are out right now. And so I just thought that they were really pretty. And so, um, yeah, I, I like them on the eyes. They give a little bit of a different kind of feeling. And so as far as lips, I went ahead and used Girl Please and added in a So Glassy Lip Gloss and Epiphany. And these are the Glowing Lips by ColourPop as well. So again, this is the Girl Please color. So yeah, that's it right there. And I'll go ahead and get the next look started. Oh, as far as um, what I did before I get the next look started, because I forgot something. Um, I am using the ColourPop uh, Brow, and this one's in taupe. And then I am using a combination of the ColourPop uh, BFF Mascara. I actually had one I hadn't opened yet. And then the Maybelline Sky High. So that's what I'm using there. And um, like I said, I'll be back with a different look in just a moment here. Okay, so 
so it's Adrian back with the next look and so um, went ahead and used a different base here uh, this is the light uh, 33C so this one's a cool shade and again it's a pretty fresh uh, foundation from Colourpop and so that's what I have on there and I did go ahead and use a different shade. I used Get Sandy. And so this is another one of the putty uh, bronzers. And as you can see, I'm almost out of it. It's the lightest shade. And I'll probably have to go ahead and reorder here pretty soon. And then as far as the cheeks go, I did go ahead and use uh, Root Flute, which is a Super Shock uh, cheek. So that's what I have on there. And then as far as highlighter, I went ahead and used Seismic, which is another ColourPop highlighter as well. So that's what I have on there. Um, I did go ahead and add in just red on the apples of the cheek, uh, the ColourPop. This is the Flamingo shade. And this one you can go ahead and get over at Target. So that's that one right there. And... Um, that's what I have on as far as the base. Uh, again, I did go ahead and use the ColourPop um, taupe as far as the eyebrows go. And for the eye look on this one, I did go ahead and use Truly Iconic. And uh, again, this is another one that you can get over at um, the at Target. So this is one of those uh, palettes, and it's a nine pan palette. The uh, shimmer shades on this one are just really fun, and so that's kind of what I went for. And it gave me a really light look, but it's very, very shimmery. So um, I did go ahead and use this one in the crease, and then I used this one on the inner corner, uh, this one also on the inner corner, uh, this one on the brow bone, and then this one in the outer lid. And um, I did go ahead and use this as an eyeliner. And so the way that the, the look turned out, it's kind of like this. And it's a very shimmery, very light look. I thought it turned out kind of fun. <coughs> Pardon me, kind of fun. Um, so I do have the Girl Please uh, from ColourPop and Glowing Lips on and the Epiphany uh yeah, glassy shade on. And so that's the way that this one worked out. Um, I do have a combination of the Sky High and the BFF from ColourPop on as far as the mascara as well. And I didn't use any eyeliner. Um, well, I used the palette, the gray shade over here as an eyeliner, but I didn't use any of the ColourPop eyeliner. So uh, that's the way that this one looks. Oh. And I think, you know, for um, if you want to just be really sparkly, that this one is just a really fun look. So, um, and every time I see this palette, I just want to use all the shimmers in it. So, yeah, it's a good shimmer palette, this one. And um, I'll be back with the next look in just a second. Okay, so back again with the next uh, lookbook look. And uh, again, these are all ColourPop. You can get all of these palettes over at Target. In fact, most of the products you can get over at Target as well. So I went ahead and used the Pretty Fresh Foundation. Again, I used the 33 Cool. So uh, that's what I have on. And then I did go ahead and use the uh, Get Sandy bronzer again. And um, the Brute Flute as far as uh, the actual blush. So that's what I have on there. And then I did use, again, some of the Flamingo on the cheeks. And this is one of the ones that you can get over at uh, Target. And then I did go ahead and use the Seismic, uh, which is one of the highlighters. And so I went ahead and used that as my highlighter in this particular look. And what I did um, as far as lips was just to go ahead and use the Girl Please. So I used that without any of the lip gloss on there. 
and as far as what I have on my eyes, it's the Vibe Check. And I think it's a really pretty palette. It has some purples based on red and some really pretty pinks in there. Uh, so I started with this in my crease. I went ahead and used the pink right above that. Um, I used this uh, really pretty light pink on the inner corner. Uh, this one on the lid, and then this uh, really deep purple right on the brow bone. And I did go ahead and use this as eyeliner again. And uh, this way that the look turned out. So again, really pretty. This is one of the my favorite palettes, this Vibe Check that um, I got. And it just, it's really easy to go ahead and uh, work with. And uh, you can do some really, really colorful looks like what I have on, or you could go really, really neutral with it. It has four browns in here that are a little bit, um, yeah, actually three browns. And then this one that um, actually runs as a dark rose. And it's a really pretty palette. I would suggest this one as well. And so this is how the look came out. Again, um, mascara. Use the BFF from ColourPop and the Sky High from Maybelline. So that's what I have on there. And then um, I used the uh, taupe pencil from um, ColourPop as well. So that's what I have on there. And so... Yeah, we're just about halfway through, and uh, we'll be diving into some uh, peachy looks in just a second, and I'll be right back. Hi, it's Adrienne back again, and so I'm back with a peachy look, and I'll go ahead and tell you how I did this one. Um, I went ahead and used ColourPop Pretty Fresh, and this is their foundation in 55 Neutral, so that's what I have on there. And then I did go ahead and use uh, the ColourPop. This is an older version of um, a bronzer that they have out. It's Coconut Beach, um, but my packaging is an older packaging of this uh, bronzer. So that's what I have on as far as the bronzer goes. And then I did go ahead and use um, Bardo. Actually, I used a combination. Um, so I used Bardo, which again goes red. And then I mixed it with one of the new ColourPop blushes. Again, available over at Ulta and at Target. And um, so I went ahead and mixed it with Dancing Queen. And this is one of the blushes that does have shimmer in it. So I did go ahead and do that. And then... Um, as a topper, what I did was I put on a little bit of chiffon, and this is a Super Shock Cheek. In fact, I think I'll add a little bit more because it's just so pretty. So, um, yeah, that's adding a little bit more chiffon in. So, um, and then the really big highlight that you're seeing is um, I mix Chiffon and Flexitarian together. And Flexitarian is their highlighter that's known for going ahead and shining into the next galaxy or whatnot. So, uh, yeah, that's what I did as far as the cheek look. So I mixed everything that I could find. Um, this one is... Live Love, I think that's, no, Love Life, Love Life. And so that's uh, the lippy that I went ahead and put on. And then I added in some of the So Glassy as far as uh, my lip gloss over the top. And that's what I have on for the lips there. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Oh, use the Peach Out palette. And so with the Peach Out palette, um, what I did was I went ahead and used, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, went ahead and used this one um, all over the lid. Then I used uh, this one on the inner corner, this one on the lid, this one on the brow bone, 
and this over here is an eyeliner and so uh, yeah I think I came out with a really pretty look and yes some of my packaging isn't um, together at this point and that's because I tend to use my products and so if I bust the packaging you know that it's a product I probably really like so um, as far as what I the eye look turned out to be this is it and um, again I would recommend all of these palettes this one is really pretty and um, really peachy and fun. So uh, yeah, this is the look with uh, Peach Out. So Peach Out. And I'll be back in just a couple of minutes with, or I'll be back instantaneously for you, but for me, it'll be a little bit longer. And uh, I'll be back with a couple more looks for you here, okay? <laughs> Hi, it's Adrian back with the next look. And so um, I did go ahead and use the Pretty Fresh. This is the 55 Neutral shade as well. And as far as what I went ahead and did on the cheeks, I went ahead and did the Bardo, which is the one that goes a little bit more red. And then um, went ahead and added in the chiffon over the top so um, and both of these are actually super shock cheeks so um, they just they look really well or really good together in my opinion so I went ahead and uh, put them together and then I went ahead and put some flexitarian on top and flexitarian again is the color pop the really big um, well it's a highlighter that's really 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 glowy so and um it's a favorite and a cult favorite probably from uh the color pop line but um all of these you can go ahead and get a target or alta and so that's been the fun thing about uh color pop lately is that they've gone ahead and gone into retail stores so we can now get them without having to order all the time which is good and they also brought out with the new line of products because they're now available everywhere so um i did go ahead and use colourpop liner and taupe again or the brow the brow yeah the brow pencil that's what i'm trying to say and then i did go ahead and use a combination of the sky high by maybelline and the bff um mascara by ColourPop. So that's what I have on there. As far as what I did for the lips, um, where did I put that? I went ahead and used the Just a Tint and I used the one in Big Time, which looks like this. And then I went ahead and used ColourPop uh, So Glassy um, on top of it. So that's how these that's how this one came out and these uh, the just a tents are available over at um, I think they're at both Target and Alta so yeah and then as far as what I did for the eyes I went ahead and used one of the palettes that I think is just amazing as far as new palettes from them and that's the fresh greens and with the fresh greens um, Again, really pretty palette. And uh, I went ahead and started with this color in the crease here. This is a really pretty duochrome. And it looks like it's silver, but it goes green. And I actually took that from down here up to the eyebrow and then all the way over along here. So, um, yeah, this is a really gorgeous shade that they have in there. Then I went ahead and used this on the um, from the corner right to about the middle of the eye on the lid. And then I took this one um, right in the very middle of the lid. And then this uh, shimmer right over here is going to be on the outside of the lid. Or on the outside all the way from the bottom up to the top. And let's see, I went ahead and used this olive shade here, which is really pretty.
pretty. And it used it for an eyeliner. And again, the tones in this particular palette are just gorgeous. You can go a lot darker with it than I did by going ahead, you know, and using some of this deep brown to go ahead and uh, build up some of the darker a little bit more. But uh, this way that the eye look worked out. And again, just really pretty. And again, another palette I would definitely go ahead and recommend. So that's the way that this one turned out. And I'll be back with another one. And I think we have two more left. Hi, back again. And so the next palette actually is called... Uh, or the next eye look is actually Forever Floral. And Forever Floral is actually a combination. And so it has some uh, rosy tones in it. It has some peach tones and some bronze. And so um, what I did was I went ahead and mimicked what was going on with the eyes as far as what was going on on the cheeks. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started. I started off with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. This one's in 30 Fair. And this one is a little bit too light for me now that I've um, been out in the sun during the summertime. So I went ahead and used the Soul. Uh, this is the Face and Body Bronzer. This one's in Fair. So I went ahead and mixed these two together to go ahead and get the foundation shade that I have on right now. And I really like this product. It just mixes really well with all sorts of... And you get a ton of it. You can use it on your body too. It's from Soul, which is a sister company to ColourPop that you can get on the ColourPop website. And then as far as bronzer, I went ahead and used the ColourPop Avila, yeah, Avella Beach, which is the lightest of their, um, the lightest shade in the powders, or at least I think it's still the lightest shade in the powders. I'm pretty sure it's still the lightest shade in the powders. As far as what it looks like, that's what mine looks like. And yes, I've used it a lot. And then let's see, what else did I go ahead and do here? Um, as far as blush, I went ahead and mixed blushes. So I went ahead and used uh, Tasty, which is one of the ColourPop Super Shock blushes. And then I went ahead and mixed it with this one, one of my all-time favorites, which is Out of Quartz, which is a really light pink. And it is, it's not a... Um, I kept on thinking that it was a highlighter, but it's actually a super shock cheek, so it's actually a cheek color. So, um, yeah, these are the two that I went ahead and mixed together today as far as doing the cheek look. And then, um, because the palette is mixed between peach and uh, pink, so I went ahead and did that as well. And then I used uh, the Seismic as far as the highlighter right now. So this is the Seismic, and that's what I have on as far as the highlighter. As far as what I did for the lips, I used a ColourPop. Um, this is one of their lip liners. This one's in Brink. And then I went ahead and mixed it with the So Glassy Lip Gloss from, um, from ColourPop. So both of these are, yeah. Came out to be a pretty color there. As far as uh, the eye look, well, I went ahead and mixed the Sky High um, Mascara from Maybelline and the BFF from ColourPop. And um, as far as what I did for the eyes, I used the Forever Floral and went ahead and did um, this color as far as the base color. And then I used these two... Um, so these two shades, and from uh, the bottom corner up to the brow. Um, I did go ahead and use uh, this color from, let's see, the inner corner to about halfway. And then I went ahead and used uh, this, which is a really pretty peach color, um, from about midway all the way to the outer corner. This color I put up on the brow bone. 
and then I did go ahead and use this as my eyeliner and so uh, yeah that's what I have on the eyes this way that the eyes turned out and so I think it turned out really pretty um, this is definitely a combo palette so if you have some of those blushes that are the pink and peachy this is a great one to pair with those because it does have you know both um, pink rose peach and a little bit of bronze in there so it's a really pretty palette and I really like it as well it gives you a lot of versatility you could do a you know a complete pink and rose look or you could go uh, peach and bronze or you can mix them all together like I did <laughs> so um, yeah and one of the things that I am finding out now that I'm going ahead and doing these looks like this is that all of these palettes really do have a good um, eyeliner shade so you're not having to worry about that if you're like going away for a weekend or something you could just take a palette you would have a couple of looks in it and an eyeliner so that's really nice about these uh, um, as far as those palettes go and uh, we have one left and I will be back in just a couple minutes or for you right away for me a little while Hi, Adrian, back with the last look here. And so um, what I did was I went ahead and used some of the ColourPop, um, the Cool 30. Whoops, sorry. Knocking everything over here. So I went ahead and used the Cool, um, or the Fair 30. And this is the Pretty Fresh uh, Foundation from ColourPop. And I did it just in the center of my face. So um, the outer part of the face has the Fair 30 mixed with the Soul Face and Body Bronzer on it. But um, yeah, just the very center of it has uh, the Fair 30 only. So that's what I went ahead and did there. As far as... Um, bronzer. I went ahead and used the Cocoa Beach bronzer and this one is um, in the old packaging but it is one of the bronzers that you can get over at Target or Ulta. And then um, as far as what I did for cheeks I went ahead and used Brute Flute uh, which is a super shock cheek. And then I went ahead and mixed it with the Out of Quartz which is the light pink. So these are the two that I went ahead and used as the cheek color there. And then what I did go ahead and do was use a little bit of the Flexitarian on top of them. And again, the Flexitarian is one of the highlighters. It's their, it's their cult highlighter, their highlighter that has a cult following. Let's put it that way so it doesn't sound weird because it's not. And then as far as the lip, I went ahead and again used the glowing lips. This one's in lavender. Mixed it with the So Glassy and Epiphany, and that's the lip gloss. And so that's what I have on there. And um, let's see, as far as what I have on the eyes, um, again, the same, the Sky High by Maybelline and the BFF Mascara mixed together. And then I did go ahead and use the Daydreaming palette, which is supposed to be about daydreaming, about Paris. So, I mean, what's not to like, right? So uh, with this palette, um, I didn't really start with the base color at all. Um, I went ahead and used this uh, color right under the brow and right on the inner corner and then I used uh, this color right here right on the brow bone I used this in the outer corner and then this one on the lid and then I did go ahead and use what is it this color for my um, eyeliner and again with these palettes you don't need to if you're going away for a weekend you just take the one palette because you already have the eyeliner in it and so again, a palette that I think is really pretty. This way that the look came out. 
So it's definitely a lot darker, and you can go a lot darker than I did with this palette. But again, I think it's really pretty. It's available over at Target. And um, so it was released a little bit later, but it's uh, part of their summer collection that's over there. And um, let's see, I was going to mention a couple of products that I hadn't mentioned because I was... Um, as far as the setting powder, I've been using the um, Glowish Powder by Huda, Huda in the Fair. So that's what I've been using as a finishing powder on top of all of these looks. And I think, oh, yeah. And the Fourth Ray Glisten Up. Fourth Ray Glisten Up is another... Fourth Ray is a sister company to ColourPop. I like the Glisten Up because it has some mica in it and it gives me a little bit more of a glowy look. And so that's what I've been using as my setting um, mist. And I think those are the only two that I didn't really mention just because, you know, they're not that exciting. And um, I think that's all the looks. I think that's everything. And um, I hope that you've enjoyed the video. I've really enjoyed doing these looks. I knew that I liked these palettes, but I forgot how much I liked these palettes. And they really are a good addition to the whole ColourPop um, uh, family and everything. And so anyway, thank you and have a good day. Okay, bye.